Hi, my name is Ava Posley. I'm a senior at the University of Northern Colorado and I'm in my fourth semester of nursing school. And in my Nurse 440 class or my current issues in healthcare class, we had a whole unit on ethics. So we learned about a ton of ethical principles, but today I wanna to discuss the Daniels Fund principle of transparency and how it relates to what we learned about the case of Henrietta Lacks. So if you haven't heard of Henrietta Lacks, she was a woman who had cervical cancer and her cells were taken without her consent and she passed away shortly after in 1951. Researchers found that her cells were able to live and multiply and divide in culture unlike other cells that they had previously worked with and her cells became essentially immortal. And so with her cells, they were able to help develop the polio vaccine, certain cancer treatments, and make a ton of other medical advances. So it wasn't until over 20 years later that her family found out about the existence of her cells, let alone the medical advancements that had been made with them. And after this, they had distrust and suspicions about healthcare, which is understandable because there was no transparency in this situation and it was an ethics violation. So what I've learned is the importance of transparency and what consequences can come when transparency isn't present in a situation. And I've learned that I certainly want to take transparency into my practice as a nurse because I want my patients to trust me and I want them to know what is going on with them in a healthcare setting. And today informed consent is a super important part of medicine, which also has a lot to do with transparency between the healthcare provider and the patient. So I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to learn more about ethics. Thank you.